Taiwan is now seeing the effects of a vaccine shortage. The South Rural Island has seen a surge in new COVID-19 cases, which threatens a full lockdown. This is a far cry from before, when it has remained relatively free of COVID-19 for almost all 18 months of the pandemic. It only has access to AstraZeneca vaccines currently, and as low as 1.3% of its population is vaccinated so far. China has offered Taiwan its vaccines, saying most Taiwanese compatriots are eagerly anticipating Chinese doses. But Taiwan, which China claims as its own, has refused its offer, reiterating its decades-long ban on importing pharmaceutical products made in China. Taiwan's health minister said that Chinese-made vaccines are not an option due to the ban and because they don't appear to be as effective. Taiwan has also cited the global shortage of vaccines as the reason why its stocks are low. China and Taiwan have traded barbs frequently during the pandemic, with China's vaccine offer being the latest issue to spar over. Beijing has accused Taipei of playing political games using its people's lives, while Taipei has implied that Beijing was behind its difficulties in getting more shots, a claim that Beijing has dismissed as nonsense. Most recently, Taiwan said it doesn't believe China is sincere in offering its vaccines, and that China is launching a political warfare to split and weaken Taiwan. And for the first time on May 26, Taiwan has accused China of blocking a vaccine deal with BioNTech after China offered the shots to the island via Fosun, the Chinese pharmaceutical firm that holds the rights to distribute the shots in Taiwan. China denied the allegation and claimed that Taiwan had gone against commercial principles in seeking to bypass Fosun, despite the task being impossible. Taiwan's health minister further said that BioNTech required Taiwan to drop the word country from the deal before it ultimately collapsed, even though that Taiwan claimed it was already finalised. Adding to Taiwan's troubles, it has failed again in its bid to attend the World Health Assembly as an observer. China has also been wearing Taiwan down with almost daily incursions into Taiwan's air defence zone with its warplanes. Nationalistic Chinese media Global Times said recently that while there are humanitarian considerations when it comes to vaccines, Beijing still has a bottom line, and that military aircraft surrounding Taiwan and other pressure will continue.